today I'm going to be showing some of my 3D printed parts. So, all of these parts are not my design. I only have one part that I've printed so far that's my design. I have some other parts that are also my design, but I haven't printed them out yet. So this is my design. I this is actually a uh, actual Lego piece, but I made it into a 3D model and I printed it. This is a 7 by 11 frame, I think, yeah, 7 by 11 frame, and with an open center. It's it's actually it's the right proportions, and the pins fit pretty well, and so do the axles. So here's this really silly gearbox that I made out of some of my 3D printed parts. So this one right here is a 3D printed 24 tooth gear. And this one's a 20 tooth gear. That's still an actual piece, actual Lego piece. And here you can operate it like this. And I don't know why I made it like that, but it's kind of dumb because it kind of just changes speeds. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> so, and then this uses some other parts that I also are not my design. So I can quickly take it apart. It's not made of many pieces. And it doesn't use that many pieces. Okay. So first off, there's these biscuit pieces. So these biscuit pieces, the pinholes are actually a little large. If you put it in here, they actually fall out quite easily. Sometimes, yeah, like this, you can spin it pretty well and so in the, like the center of the pinholes. It gets pretty, pretty loose. Ah, uh, so it can fall out pretty easily, but these, these frames, these don't fall out that easily. I found all these models on Thingiverse, except for this frame, I made it myself. I'll post it on Thingiverse later. So, I found all of these models on Thingiverse, as you can see, this pinhole is actually pretty tight. So I got this connector in there, and now I'm having trouble taking it out. Okay. My <laughs> tooth gear flew out. So, here I have these two frames. So this is a f modified version of the 5x7 frame with open center. So instead of having, so it has like two holes here and then it only has two holes on this side, two holes on this side, I'm like, and they're like not in the middle. So just a different version of the frame. And this is a very useful piece for building gearboxes, just like the gearbox that I just showed you and I destroyed. So it's just like a frame, except it has a bajillion holes on one side and it's pretty useful like that because you can stick axles and pins and everything into there. Let's see, it's still, it's, these took a, quite a while to print. Uh, the biscuit pieces, they don't take that long to print. These frames, they take a while to print and they're not that heavy. I print them in PLA, in simple white PLA on my printer, and they, like, some of these, they took, like, the longest one took, like, seven hours. I think these, these two were printed in, like, a biscuit piece and these two gears. These were printed in the same batch. I have more of these gears. I have, like, another 24 tooth gear, and I also have... Yeah, and then these two, these three, these five of them were printed in the same batch of seven hours. Cause I do 0 0.06 millimeter height, so it's pretty sturdy. This was printed by itself. This, the frames take around seven hours, uh, four hours. This one took four hours, yeah. Takes a while, but these are actually really, really useful. Cause like this piece doesn't exist, but it's really useful for like gearboxes. And this piece probably is also really useful for like connections. And this is an already existing piece, so it's actually still really useful. And it's pretty rare, not 
that rare, except it doesn't exist in that many sets. So it's actually pretty rare, and it does, there's not a lot of them that exist in the sets that have them. And the gears, they are okay, I guess. They, they turn pretty well. Uh, these are clutch gears, so they, they're not normal gears. Mm. I'm planning on printing a 36 tooth gear and compare it with the Lego 36 tooth gear. They, they mesh really well. They mesh pretty well. Like you can attach them onto like this frame and they mesh really well. Let me quickly make something yeah, like this. They mesh pretty well, you can see. Mm, it's not too big and not too small. And the, yeah, and at first I tried to print the frame and then the nozzle got clogged, <laughs> which is kind of sad. So, yeah, and that's about it. The biscuit pieces, I still think the pinholes are too big.